What's going on guys, Vibe and Jivin' back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be telling you how I convinced my parents to support gaming and giving you all the steps you need to talk to your parents about it. And in the background, we're just gonna be vibing to some arena gameplay. Before we hop into this video, please consider using code JIVINTV in the Fortnite item shop, or at least make sure you're using somebody's code because it helps us out a ton. Without further ado, let's get into this video. So let's start out with my own story. How did I convince my parents to support me with gaming? So if we go way, way back in the day when I was like in middle school, or maybe even before that, I had limits to gaming, you know, they would only give me like two hours, three hours a day. And I 100% agree, like there should have been limits. Because if you're just mindlessly playing games, you know, you're just playing for fun, there should be limits to that. You gotta make sure that you're getting good grades, you gotta make sure you're experiencing the world, toying with other hobbies so that you can find out what you truly like to do beyond just gaming. And of course, having a social life. They started supporting it a little more and taking off my restrictions when I proved to them that I could balance gaming, school, sports, and social life. And the biggest reason they started letting me play more was because I was doing it in a creative, constructive way. I wasn't just mindlessly playing games all day for fun. Sure, it was fun, and I loved doing it, but I started making videos on YouTube. I started teaching myself editing software, and they started to see that it wasn't just gaming that I was into. They started seeing the creative side of it. Because I was learning editing softwares, and I was learning graphic design, and I was trying to build a brand, that's when they started seeing the benefits of what I was putting my time towards. It wasn't just mindless gaming, it was learning professional editing softwares and graphic design softwares that eventually, if I didn't do gaming full time as a career, I could use those skills for other jobs later down the road, which I actually did end up using before I became a full time YouTuber. I started working for other YouTubers as a graphic designer and video editor, and that was my part-time job on the side of school. I also worked in a restaurant for a while, but you see what I mean though? Because I was learning those skills through gaming, they were more supportive of it because I could use those skills later on down the road. But the biggest thing is you gotta keep your priorities in check. School is number one, social life is number two, family, well, family's like number one, <laughs> but you know what I mean? Gaming comes last, that's a hobby. You gotta make sure all other aspects of your life come first. And then when I actually started making money from gaming, the way I got their support to do it as a full-time job was just by proving to them that I was doing it responsibly. I made lots of backup plans. I set major goals for myself, and if any of those goals fell through, then I would take a break from gaming and focus on other aspects of my life. The biggest thing is your parents want to make sure that you're being responsible with your time. So if you can balance gaming and all other aspects of your life, you should be chilling with your parents. And if they still can't see it, well, listen up for this next part of the video because I'm going to be telling you everything you need to get support from your parents. But the most important thing is your parents are your parents and you got to listen to what they say. So if this stuff doesn't work, you could try to get them to watch this video and hear it for themselves. But you got to listen to your parents, man. They are your guides in life and whatever they do, they do to try to help you become better. So now we're at the part in the video where I'm gonna talk to you about how to convince your parents about gaming. Here we go. Step one is prepare. You don't wanna go into it blindly and you know, if they say, no, you can't have more time, you like yell at them. Don't do that. Prepare first. Here's what you need. First, try to think about what their hobbies are. Like if they're a painter, a musician, any type of side hobby that they enjoy, think about that and keep that in the back of your mind because you can use gaming to compare to their hobbies. For example, my parents are actors and, and when I was getting into YouTube and streaming, I told them that it's very similar to acting. Both acting and gaming are areas of entertainment if you actually play your cards right. Just like in acting, you know, people come out to see the show. In streaming, people come out to see the live show. With YouTube, it's just like movies, you know? People in their spare time will watch Netflix, but they'll also watch YouTube and watch gaming videos. So that's one way that I kind of related gaming to them so they could understand it on another level. A lot of parents nowadays don't really understand what gaming really is or what YouTube and streaming is. And so you just gotta say it in a way that they can actually understand because a lot of people just think it's a waste of time, but it's not anymore. And if they don't understand how you make money from gaming through YouTube and streaming, 
and Instagram, TikTok, all that stuff. Here's the basic idea. You know, YouTube has ads on every single video. So that's the money coming in. They also have paid subscriptions, just like, you know, Spotify. You know, Spotify, you can listen for free, but you have ads. But there's also the paid subscriptions and that some of that money goes towards the creators. So that's what YouTube's like, you know, ads per every video, paid subscriptions, and Twitch, you know, ads run during every stream. Once you get affiliated, people can support you through paid subscriptions. It's like donating to you. And the biggest thing is you build a community, you build a bunch of supporters that'll follow you no matter what. On top of that, there's also sponsors that pay you for specific ads on each video. Lots of brand deals, all that stuff. So that's the basics. Let's get into the next part of the video. So next thing you need to do to prepare is you need to prepare a plan. And when I say prepare a plan, I mean prepare a plan for yourself. When I was trying to become a pro streamer, pro YouTuber, I didn't just blindly make videos, you know, like once every week, maybe sometimes every three weeks. I started posting every other day. I made sure every post was quality and I also set up a stream schedule. And one of the big things I was keeping in mind with this plan is that I was gonna try out tutorials, but if tutorials didn't work, I knew I needed to switch it up. Maybe I would try funny content after that, or maybe I'd try life advice. You gotta build a plan with backup plans because sometimes your first ideas won't work how you expect. Another thing you gotta include into your plan is school, friends. You gotta make sure you're hanging out with people, meeting new people, all that stuff. And yeah, just build all aspects of your life around this one plan and you should be chilling. Next thing you need is to learn the benefits about gaming and content creation. Benefit number one, if you go pro, that could be income. Benefit two, if you learn to make videos, those skills could come in handy down the road, just like I talked about earlier. In my opinion, this is one of the most important things to getting your parents on board with gaming. If you can show them that you're being creative in your videos, you're exploring your creativity, you're taking an interest into video editing and graphic design, skills that could come in handy in future jobs. Showing them that stuff can help them understand that gaming isn't just a total waste of time, especially if you're doing content creation and learning these skills. Another positive is if you grow an audience, that can be more income, and it's also positive mental development. Learning how to build a community online is very similar to building a community in real life. And there's honestly no better feeling than just having your own community supporting you and supporting each other. It's a beautiful thing, I love you guys. <laughs> Next positive is business management. If you can manage all your social medias professionally, that can be used down the road in a portfolio, you know, showing that you know how social media works. Especially if you're able to grow an audience, a lot of people will be interested in hearing about how you grew that audience. You'll learn how to work social media really well, and that can come in handy down the road. Not in like a, oh, social media, follow my friends type of way, but like a business type of way. You'll also learn about social media marketing, which is a very common profession nowadays. Lots of businesses are trying to hire social media marketers so that they can grow their businesses. So those are some of the biggest positives about gaming and content creation. But now there's two more important concepts that I need to remind you of that are so important. One, understanding productive gaming from casual gaming. Casual gaming is just hopping online with your friends, playing for fun. Maybe you're grinding to be a pro, but you don't have social medias, you don't have a YouTube, you don't have a stream. That falls in the casual gaming category. Even though you're gaming competitively, I'm still gonna put that under casual gaming because the chances of you making that a professional career and making it something you can do for a living is very, very, very slim, one in a billion, if you're not active on social medias and building an audience. Productive gaming is all the stuff I've talked about in this video, you know, learning how to edit, learning how to graphic design, learning how to manage social medias. That stuff is crucial. If you're not doing that stuff, it's going to be a lot harder to convince your parents to support you with gaming and to give you more time on gaming because that's the business side of things. If you're not doing that stuff, gaming is still awesome regardless. That's why so many people game. But without doing that stuff, your parents probably aren't going to want to support you doing this professionally, you know? They need to see that you're doing something and that's the best way to do it, building an audience while you're going down your path to pro. By the way, everything I'm saying in this video, I'm just saying it to help you guys, so don't take offense to anything I'm saying. That's not the point. Last thing is, you gotta understand the odds of success, even in content creation, are very slim. But 
even if you don't make it, there's so many positive growths from gaming. And some of you probably will make it. I believe that some of you will. Those that work the hardest are going to be the ones that make it. They get their homework done early if you're still in school, and then they'll get ahead on YouTube videos at night, and then they'll make time to hang with friends, all that stuff. But what I was going to say is that even if you don't make it in gaming, but you're doing all the stuff I talked about in this video, you'll get a major maturity growth from gaming. You'll learn discipline, you'll learn editing skills, you'll learn graphic design skills, you'll learn business management skills, all that stuff from this experience. And I gotta say, I never loved gaming more until I started doing all that stuff. I started video editing when I was 12 years old, started making YouTube videos as professionally as I could. On the weekends, sometimes I would spend 12 hours working on one like two minute long video, and I grew a lot from that. I wouldn't be where I was now if I didn't do that stuff when I was younger. Maybe I would've, but probably not. But last thing I want to talk about in this video is compromise. Go into the conversation with your parents open to compromising. If they say, okay, we'll give you an extra hour to your gaming, but you got to make sure that you're learning video editing, just like Jivan said. Be grateful for whatever compromises you can get and be grateful that your parents listen to you in the conversation. Biggest thing is you got to respect your parents. Whatever they say is final, so don't get upset with them. Maybe down the road you can earn your way towards more gaming time by acting responsible, by getting your work done, getting good grades, making good friends. Work your way towards that, you know? But thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this video helped you out. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, use code JIVENTV in the item shop, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.